Hi everyone. Today I am giving some tricks to solve questions on hyperconjugation. Before going to solve these questions, we have to remember that number of alpha hydrogens is equal to the number of hyperconjugative structures. If more the number of hyperconjugative structures, the stability of that compound will be more. So, for giving stability order, first we have to identify the number of alpha hydrogens. What are alpha hydrogens for alkenes? The hydrogen which is attached to the carbon, which in turn attached to double bonded carbon. It is the alpha hydrogen. So, in this uh, question, the alpha hydrogens are, these three are alpha hydrogens, three, these three, these three. Total, 12 alpha hydrogens are there. And here, 9 alpha hydrogens are there and here 6 alpha hydrogens and here 3 alpha hydrogens here there are no alpha hydrogens so the stability order is in this order and next here it is trans butuene this is cis butuene this is more stability this has more stability when compared to cis compound why because here uh, these bulky alkyl groups show more steric repulsions. So, transbutene is more stable when compared to cis compound. And next, in this question, this is alpha carbon and there are no alpha hydrogens. So, zero alpha hydrogens. Here, one alpha hydrogen. Here in this compound, two alpha hydrogens are there. And here, this is the alpha carbon, three alpha hydrogens are there. So, the stability order is In this question, this carbon is attached to double bonded carbon. So, these three are alpha hydrogens. And here, two alpha hydrogens are there. Here, only one alpha hydrogen is there. Here, there are no alpha hydrogens. So, the stability order is. And next, stability of carbocations. What, uh, which hydrogens are alpha hydrogens? The hydrogen attached to carbon, which are in turn attached to carbocation. It is the alpha hydrogen. Here, these are alpha hydrogens. Total 9 alpha hydrogens are there. Here, 6 alpha hydrogens. In this compound, 3 alpha hydrogens are there. Here, there are no alpha hydrogens. It is methyl group. So, the stability is in this order. And next, here this is a alpha carbon these are the alpha carbons. These are alpha hydrogens. Two alpha hydrogens. Here only one alpha hydrogen. Here there are no alpha hydrogens. So the stability order is. In this question, this is alpha carbon. And in this, in this compound, these three are alpha carbons. In this compound, these two are alpha carbons. Alpha hydrogens are one alpha hydrogen. And here, 3, 2, here 2. Total, 7 alpha hydrogens. Here, 1 hydrogen, 2. Total, 3. The stability order is 2 is greater than 3, 1. In this question, there are no alpha hydrogens. So, um, hyperconjugation effect is not observed in these compounds. Only... Uh, Inductive effect is possible. Positive inductive effect is more for deuterium. So, the stability order is like this. In this question, the stability is in this order. Why? Because the carbon deuterium bond dissociation energy is more when compared to dissociation energy of carbon and hydrogen. So, uh, CD3 releases less electrons when compared to CH3. So, when alpha hydrogens are more, the stability of the compound is more. So, the stability is in this order. Stability of free radicals is same as that of stability of carbocations. Let us see the alpha hydrogens. Alpha hydrogens uh, in free radicals is same as that of carbocations. These are the alpha hydrogens. Here there are three alpha hydrogens. Here two alpha hydrogens are there 
here one alpha hydrogen is there and in this compound there are no alpha hydrogens so the stability is in this order and next in this question these are the methyl groups here on this carbon there are no alpha hydrogens on this carbon also these carbons also there are no alpha hydrogens and next in this compound there are three alpha hydrogens are there in this compound three three six alpha hydrogens are there and on this compound nine alpha hydrogens are there so the stability order is thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel